What of my handmaiden? She was murdered. It might have something to do with this note. It says, don't trust the fates. That's it? The rest of the papyrus is stained with blood. That makes no sense. She protected it with her life. It wasn't for nothing. Now we will never know for sure if there is a traitor in our ranks. But I cannot rule out the possibility. Our situation is dire. Work with the Oni. Secure Kithira for us, Mistyos.
Huh? I guess I'll go look then.
Alaka, that smell. Who knew you die so foul would be so expensive? What have you done? You killed my son!
I missed yours? You'll be punished for what you've done. I... I didn't murder your son. It wasn't me. The gods have sent you to help me, haven't they? This crime will not go unpunished. Tell me what you need. Nemesis has heard my cries. What's going on? My son was murdered at the Murex warehouse. His head smashed in like an egg. It was Kithira's leader. I heard them arguing in the warehouse. Then why didn't you stop them? You lie! Go to the warehouse and find out who killed my son, Mystios. Justice must be served. Your son's death will not go unpunished. What evidence do you have against Kithira's leader? Your son was fooling around with the leader's daughters. All four of them. Daughters? I forbade him. Told him the leader is a fearsome and vindictive man. He was blinded by the reaches. Check the fort and you'll find the gifts they gave him. What makes you think he did it? We took him in and gave him a job. But all he's done is steal from us. My boy fired him, kicked him out. I did steal, but I would never hurt someone. You hurt him when you betrayed him, Malaka. That doesn't mean he killed him. Where is the warehouse located? At the end of the harbor. It's a bloody mess now. I'll go to the warehouse and see what I can find. Find out who the murderer is, Mystios. I'll make sure this Malaka stays put. I'm innocent! You'll see! This looks like the place. Light serves as a good cloak. This bracelet looks expensive. They could be gifts from the daughters. Or an attempt to frame Kithira's leader. Not much blood, and his head was bashed in. Probably a blunt weapon. This must be the murder weapon. It's caked in dry blood. And heavy, too. There's no way the little guy could have swung this. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
What did you find, Mistios? I searched the warehouse and found the gold bracelet and the heavy stone tablet covered in blood. See? I told you you'll find gifts from the leader's daughters. It's not proof of innocence. What's this about a stone tablet? Tablet? I don't know of any tablet. Mistios, tell me who murdered my son. This worm or Kithira's leader? If the fort leader is as strong as you say, only he could have lifted a tablet like the one I saw. <laughs> There's no way this scrawny thief could have swung it like a weapon. Then kill Kithira's leader. You will be paid when he ceases to draw breath. And make it a slow, painful execution. It will be done. Thank you, Mistios, for clearing my name. Walk away from here, now! <gasps> Come on. Whoever's doing that had better stop. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Bonjour. Thank from what I... Let's... I... You're back. That you They're not big for I Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the
victory is ours! The victory is yours. You led us well today. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. Or I might have learned more. Stop. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, Your you... job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to. And so will I. What could you possibly gain from killing me? Justice, vengeance, peace. One would be enough, but all three is better. You think vengeance will dull your pain? Trust me, it won't. Here's the thing. I don't trust you. You don't have to do this, Tentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. I've already paid more than you could ever know. I don't give a shit what you've been through. Stentor, it's done. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mater and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both.
I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Cassandra. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Ephors and meet you in the throne room. Who are the Ephors? You don't remember? Then again, you were only a child. The five Ephors are elected from the citizens of Sparta. They have power over even the kings. You need to convince them if you wish to save Sparta from the cult's control. See you in the throne room. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the F-Force? You must have achieved some success to add in this adoring crowd. I brought home a wreath for Sparta. Though, I had to enter the games and win it myself. Very good. But what of our Pankration champion, Testicles? There was an accident at sea before he could compete. Games are hardly important. What about Viotia? Stentor and I defeated the Athenian forces. You have nothing to worry about. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? You act as if you don't know. Against you, Pafsanias. Sparta must be rid of Pafsanias before it's too late. He is a member of the cult of Cosmos and a traitor a to Sparta. Cosmos cult? What are you going on about? Is this some kind of joke? I have the proof right here. Your proof is right there. You know he's guilty. This isn't proof of anything. Ephos should only be called upon for serious matters. This lack of evidence is a waste of our time and disrespectful to the thrones of Sparta. The accuser should be made an example of for all other reckless fools. I taught her poorly. Punish me as her mother instead. We gave you every chance to prove yourself. Invited you back for a royal audience. And this is how you repay us? What say you, Archidamos? Cassandra and Marini of Agiad. Your names are cursed. May the Cryptia hunt you, and the Elotes scrape the meat from your bones! Agreed. A wise ruling. Too bad you don't have a mask or a black cloak to save you this time. You were there, in Delphi.
Mater, Afsanias revealed himself before I was dragged out of there. So he is the cultist king. It would be wise to deal with him as soon as possible. I will. When you've dealt with him, meet me at home. With pleasure. Eris has chosen me to lead the Spartans to glory. There can only be one. Sanias is part of the cult of Cosmos. I'll have to kill him myself. There's Pafsanias. Malaka.
Sandra, you are condemned to be hunted! I should have been more certain before accusing Pafsanias. He is a plague on Sparta and its territories. And you say you are sure now? Where is he, so he can defend himself? It doesn't matter. It does to me. I found proof. He was a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Undeniable proof. This letter was written and signed by Pafsanias' own hand, outlining the progress of their plans in Sparta. What is this Cult of Cosmos? You've mentioned them over and over, as if I should know. They're a secret group with one goal. To seize power. And they are using this war to strengthen their position. I find it difficult to think Papsineos was using Sparta this whole time. We've ruled together for years. I'll speak with the Ephors to confirm what you say. But if it's true, you deserve to be called a Spartan citizen once more. And of course, your family home is yours again. Thank you. One more thing. Yes? Should you decide to rule Sparta yourself, at least let me face you in battle. I'm not made for ruling, my king. It's gone. What's gone? There was a skull here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. It did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Rasidas, come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pylos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. It sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in his path. If Vimos is in Pylos, we have to stop him. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. 
Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Alexios is in Pylos. You have to bring him back, Cassandra. Bring him back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late. I'll bring him back, no matter what. This is serious, Cassandra. We may not get another chance. I understand. He must have seen the cultists for what they truly are by now. It doesn't matter what you have to do. Bring back your brother. You must. Nothing will stop me. I shouldn't keep Brasidas waiting. Be safe, Cassandra.
Let's go, Phobos. Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. Get over 
this fight is between you and me. And it is one you cannot win. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His, yours, and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Alexio! But I will stop you! My name is Nemo! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you anytime I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. It sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain?
Ask the people who want me dead, who treat you like a fucking god. You dare insult the ones who didn't leave me to die? They were the ones who sent you over that cliff. I gave them victory! They would throw away their champion? Malaka! You're being used. You wouldn't be here with me if you thought they were telling you the whole truth. Here's the truth. If all they wanted was a soldier, there are thousands. They want me, and only me. Wake up, Alexios! The moment you fall, they'll find someone else. Someone more controllable. Why do you think they want me too? You think they want you? If the cult wanted you, they would have saved you. If Marini wanted you, she'd be here. Accept it. No one wants you. One day, you'll realize their future doesn't include people like us. Then I wasn't meant to belong anywhere. Themos, we've been searching for you, and you are here... ...in the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave! Now! This was not your action to take, boy. Do whatever you want with her. I intend to. Now go. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Then you'll do things differently than Pericles. Friends flank my every side. The people trust in me. They know my every decree and law will be to their benefit. And they will delight in what I have planned. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Cassandra. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleon! <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You help me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your brother now. A pity. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. I'm going to enjoy this! Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. Ah, at least you tried. 
Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait. We need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Varnavas. Come, Varnavas. Cassandra, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses. The witness. There you are.
You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So, you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <laughs> I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mytilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mytilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. <laughs> What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. <laughs> 
I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! You could just get another actor. Oh, no! Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. Μόνο όταν το επιχείρημα δομεί και πιστικών, τότε δύναταν κερδάνε ζήτημα. Ανατρέχουμε στους τραγικούς της δομής τα... This looks like somewhere Cleon would come.
Muddy tracks probably came from someone in the garden. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. This shovel looks recently used. Looks like someone dug here.
What do you see? No one in this direction, sir. Tell me the instant you see anything. Understood. She got away. Keep your eyes open. Damned Mistios. I have marked the dog for death. This was right. This is exactly what we needed. You're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. 
I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you are completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes! You're right! So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall.
Off we go now. This must be Thespis's house. Thank <laughs> you. 